Have you ever seen Magic Mike? Picture a girl in those type of clothes doing what they do. There's a difference between a female dancer and a, a dom dancer. I've been dancing City of Doms for a little over five years. It's, it's a lot of entertainment groups. City of Doms is having to be one of the biggest ones. I felt like there were no spaces for dance like me. I wouldn't say there was a time where a female bothered me. It's more so like the men that kind of do. I do know most of the dancer's boundaries for the most part. It depends on the vibe. Sometimes it will change in the moment and I may not even know about it. A lot of people saw my energy shift. It goes from, am I dancing or am I taking orders? When I dance, I am giving out a certain energy and I'm expressing something. When I put on these outfits, I become the outfit. Online, they, they, they give me that energy I feel I need to express. That's why there's a lot of bondage, a lot of, you know, harnesses and things like that. You are now live. I first knew I wanted to be an exotic dancer slash entertainer. I was about 16 and I was really into dancing in a sexual way. My dance style due to how I dress. What we consider dom, because I, I portray a dominant woman. Stud dancer is alternative for those who don't know the term dom. Anything that highlights masculinity. My personal life is just social media. Right now you're looking like something I want to come home to. Like right back, play games, go live, let people join me in my lives. I mean, you gonna come with a towel? Cause like I've been dripping since like the last live. <laughs> like, because these people, one of the reasons why I even know who City Dom is. Looking for a job as a dancer, as a Dom dancer, in this society was extremely self-deflating. Walking into a club that automatically expects you to be pretty much naked or just eye candy for men, and it's not even about dance. I was like, you know what? I'm not even gonna bother. I'm gonna just take it to social media and dance there. And then I found women who wanted to watch and you know, just took it from there. The first time I danced for City Dom, which was amazing. I felt like I found something I've been looking for for years that I didn't know existed. They call me Killer Cam. Some people call me Boss Man. I am the founder of the City of Doms. City of Doms is a group of dominant lesbian strippers and entertainers who perform all over the world. But right now, there aren't any spaces where LGBT can go and see stud dancers on a regular. Leading up to it, it was really bad. A lot of my straight women were like, ill, why are you bringing them here? Nobody wants to see a man boy or a girl that acts like a man. They didn't think that was gonna be attractive, but I did it. Me being a straight male, it's a little out, it's not normal. When I say bring that, you say strap. Bring that, strap. bring that. So my relationship is good for the most part with most of them. Most of them tell me pretty much every, anything. Like some of the stuff they tell me, I'm like, like really, did I need to know that? Like I'm looking at you as one of my bros. Did I really know that you have cramps and that, you know, it's that time of the month? Someone hit me up, it's like, hey, I need you to check out this person, Mighty. She's dancing all over her page. And I'm very good at that, finding like raw, unknown talent. I was actually born in a military Navy base. So my mom did a lot of hopping around and I just did the worrying. Is she okay in Nicaragua? Is she okay in Iraq? I was dancing on YouTube while my mom was in Iraq as a coping mechanism so that way I wouldn't be so stressed out about what she was going through. So my whole senior year, while going to school, while hustling to do what I got to do to make sure me and my brother will be okay. And it was my first way to redirecting my energy in regards to dance. Everyone knows the cruise is the biggest event of the summer. <laughs> I wanted to be a part of this group when Cameo first presented it to me. It was like the best thing that ever happened to me, to be honest with you. My top state is New York, I'm not lying. Like my fan base here is crazy. I do it to make certain women feel good about themselves. You know, most women, you know, they, they don't get that type of love at home. Young brass celebrate my motherfucking 
10,000 people following her. You're amazing. We're in. Let's go. For those who don't know, this is being filmed live. You got warrants? Go downstairs. If you're not supposed to be here, go the fuck downstairs. If you told your lesbian lover you was going to the grocery store, go downstairs. If you fucking with dick on the side, you definitely better go downstairs. I've had some say to me, I just don't feel right with a straight man running a LGBT thing. I can easily stay in my box, but I enjoy doing this, and I'm doing it out of genuine love and respect for them. Today, we're here for the Best of Both Worlds cruise. So, I mean, the name stands for itself. Like, it's Best of Both Worlds. That's what it is. You get to see the femme side, and you get to see the aggressive side. I've been having my bills paid by like women who they like love me so much they just pay it for me. I don't have to worry about it. All this year, all these uh, shows City Doms went to, I had someone sponsor me. So far, I'm the only dancer in City Doms that's been to every event. But you never know what can happen. Women have gotten aggressive with me. I'm little, so me being little, I feel like I'm a target. Pick me up. You know what I mean? The one stud that picked me up and she flipped me upside down. I didn't plan any of that stuff. That was my first time meeting her. I've never seen her before. And I'm on a boat, <laughs> you know? And all I know is she is holding me up in the air. If I do any aggressive movement or anything, she can drop me. I don't think anyone's ever trying to harm them. Mighty's very small, so I could see her getting manhandled easily, even when it's by mistake. <laughs> I wouldn't say there was a time where a female bothered me. It's more so like the men that kind of do. The crews that just passed. A lot of the things that was going on, I'm not, I don't, I don't normally do. I'm not really for it. I felt like I didn't have a choice. What was that for me? This is what I'm gonna do, Mighty. I'm gonna do something you never do with Mighty. I'm gonna get you, she never shows her cat. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay you out on the ground, right? A lot of you saw my energy shift. You ready? You want? I'm gonna let you come up, put that money in, and take a peek and pack that cat real quick. Do not pull it down. You can pack the cat. Okay. I literally told him, like, I really don't want to do this. So when I laid down, I just did what I had to do because I didn't really have a choice. Honestly, it was super embarrassing. It goes from, am I dancing or am I taking orders? You know what I mean? Is my dancing not enough for you that I need to be showing my cat? So when the first person came up, she made it rain and covered every single thing. And everybody else just came up and was repositioning everything. And they even said, girl, don't worry about it. We're covering you up. I, at the end of the day, I can't focus on what this man is telling me. I'm entertaining these women. That kind of moment, it had a degrading beginning because of how it was brought up and who was saying it. It was a man saying it. But these women that I'm entertaining proved to me again, this is why I do it. Even though they, they look at me as a sexy object, they don't look at me as a sex object. And then you guys there too, it didn't make it any like easier. I felt like, I don't know, it was a lot. But at the end of the day, you know, the show has to go on. And, you know, sometimes you just gotta take one for the team, you know, and that was me. <laughs> I'm a team player. Sometimes you gotta like put your foot down, like, look, <laughs> you know, don't do this, don't do that. And you know what I'm saying? You know everybody drinking. Just got to be careful. I do know most of the dancers' boundaries, for the most part, yes. It depends on the vibe. It depends on the atmosphere. So sometimes it will change in the moment, and I may, need, I may not even know about it. Do you remember that moment? 
vaguely. If you feel uncomfortable doing something, you got to let the team know. And that's why we have females on there. That's why one of my closest workers is part of the LGBT and she's a female. At the end of the day, I am a male. So they may not feel necessarily comfortable telling me. They'll tell her and then she'll tell me. Unfortunately, he doesn't know me as much as my audience does. But again, I'm a female dancer for females. I don't expect the man to know. With a man running it, it's different. You know what I mean? If it was a female running it, of course it'd be drastically different. We're not there yet. Every year, I really want the LGBT to, instead of disbanding and looking for a hetero to puppeteer us, we connect with each other and use our networking and do what we got to do to keep that rainbow fucking rainbow. Like, you know, really rainbow, not just, you know, fake rainbow, you know. Just...